Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Tioplo TV. Thanks for joining us this week. Myself, the average golfer, and uh, back behind the camera from his uh, illness last week is Joey the Tweet for all those that uh, that missed him. Right, we're going to be uh, it's back on Callaway today. Hopefully, in the last few weeks, you'll have watched our review of the uh, XR16 irons. Um, today, it's the driver. Been in the shops a few weeks this one, so uh, could be a few of you out there who've already formed opinions and had a go yourselves. Um, all about the new design with Boeing. Forgiveness meets fast, I think is the strap line. So uh, let's go and see what kind of impact it can have on my swing speed, the average golfer, and uh, look at some results. Okay, right, we are good to go. Um, Interesting one for me, really, this week. I currently use the uh, the 2015 model of the uh, of the XR driver. That's what's in my bag, and that's the stats that you'll see that we throw it when we're doing the driver comparisons on most weeks. So uh, again, just as a a little bit of a recap, I sort of average around 240. As you know, not the longest uh, of of drivers. Um, Swing speed around, I think again, average is 93, 94 mile an hour. Interestingly enough, my current club, Project X regular shaft, and we've just done a bit of work here this morning, and uh, different shaft option, but also it's, uh, it's stiff as well and slightly heavier in weight and getting some slightly better numbers. The interesting thing for me is that, uh, as I said in the, uh, in the intro, the strap line forgiveness meets fast, and this is to do with some... Uh, help and assistance in, in the development of this club head with, uh, with Boeing. Um, so there's certainly a change in the, um, in the underside of the crown, whether you can see from that, and there's these uh, indentations and grooves that are taken out, and no doubt that's in relation to increasing club head speed and aerodynamics and the science that goes behind that. So we'll see how that gets on. In terms of looks and in terms of comparisons between the two models, um, the 16 slightly elongated in terms of the uh, in terms of the crown, very much similar in terms of this matte black finish. Classy looking golf club, and it's a uh, slightly sleeker and um, thinner looking in terms of the overall head shape. Um, but I like the look of the club. As I say, it's in my bag currently, so uh, yeah, it's matte black in finish, and I think quite classy looking. Right, enough of that. For those of you who have uh, missed Joey the tweet last week, particularly uh, Dunk the tweet if you're out there and listening, um, are ready and waiting. Are we? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. No, it's good to go, Joe. Yeah, Don't good. forget. Good to go, Joe. <laughs> right, here we go. Let's see how this one goes. Am I going to get club head speed from Boeing, Joe? That's the question. That's a nice straight ball. Big, powerful. That's right out the middle. Really felt good in terms of the uh, explosion out of the face. 265. 265, so straight away. Club head speed, let's go with that. 99 club head speed. Boeing. Boeing is working, Joe. Boeing technology. 99, that's like, that is five mile an hour quicker than my, I think it's 94. Should know that figure really, shouldn't I? That's a considerable difference. Right, try another one. See if we manage to maintain that. What? Down the left, unfortunately, there, isn't it, Joe? Force that one a little bit. Sorry, I'm just reaching for the T peg. But again, great feel out of the club. Um, 247. 247 wasn't as nice as the first ball. But again, as I said, a great feel. Um, wasn't the best of fits, but certainly felt as though you're getting that uh, help across the club face. As I say every week, and it's hard not to be repetitive in terms of the technology and, and the message that's being sent from every manufacturer. Lower CG, place it at the back of the club, increased launch angles and greater help across the club face. I could honestly say that every week, and I probably do, but uh, that is the message that, uh, that they put out there. The only difference being with this, of course, is the uh, the help in terms of club head speeds, and I've absolutely nailed that one again from from my perspective. Let's see what the uh, see what the machine says. Two five two. Two five two. In all honesty, just had to broke the T, so just had to go over another one. Uh, I felt a bit better than that, Joe. Yeah, club head speed. 
So again, still quicker, still the science behind Boeing is certainly uh, ringing true at the moment. So let's see, let's see if we can get a real good one out there. Now I've slightly come across that Joe, I don't know how much again that will impact on. Too bad. It's a slight, slight fade, slight cut, but still recording 266. So these are getting some real interesting numbers here. Clubhead? 95. 95, so what's the spin on it? So again, spin rate low. As ever, same message, it's all about getting custom fit for these golf clubs and getting the optimum in terms of performance for your swing, your swing speed. So we'll try, is that four we've hit? We'll try one more. So we've got 266 in terms of distance to beat. Let's see what we can do. Oh, it certainly felt nice again right out of the middle and the power in this Callaway club I mean as I said I currently use last year's model so I'm obviously already uh, a liker an advocate of this club 261 back up to 99 so the Boeing technology is certainly ringing true I like to see that when a manufacturer makes a claim that's all well and good but does it then translate back into the hands of the average golfer and in this case it most certainly does that's quite a considerable difference. Few in there at 96, but still quicker than my existing club head speed. And obviously, the more club head speed that is generated, obviously the greater distance that's gonna translate into. So on average, I mean, we're talking about uh, 260 yard drives there, maybe 257. Um, that is a good sort of, you know, we're, we're talking 17, 18 yards longer. We'll throw up the proper stats at the end. I'll also continue to hit. We're going to test over sort of 20 shots to give a fair assessment to this golf club. But obviously prior to going on air, uh, it's pretty similar numbers, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It's been good literally from, uh, from the start this morning and that's been a similar sort of vein. High 90s in terms of club head speed and that 260 number has been continually broke. So really thumbs up from Tioplo and from the average golfer in terms of this one. The question is, do I change my driver and swap for this year's model? It's a costly exercise, this uh, product reviewing, you know. Right, hope you enjoyed that one. Um, as ever, we've been getting some great comments and feedback of late. We really enjoy that and uh, it's nice to see. So if you've got, as I say, this one's in the shops currently. So if you've got any opinions you'd like to fire back at us, then uh, stick it in the comments box below. Subscribe. Um, Follow us on the social media channels and don't forget, visit the Tiuplo website and leave your golf course reviews. Um, we really enjoy hearing from the average golfer out there. And take care, we'll see you next week. That was pretty impressive, wasn't it?